Hello again, it's Jack from Visual Effects Hut. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to use VDB volumes in Octane. So, let's create a VDB volume, which you can either do here. I've just got little shortcuts. And let's import one from our library. Go down to see how many frames there is, there's 300. This is 10 gig file. And then we put end 300. Hit the render button and then we see our explosion. So you'll notice it's probably facing the wrong way, so let's turn that around. We set our time line to 300 as well, just so we can see what's happening. So this is actually an explosion, so this was simulated with flames, not necessarily smoke. So we need to change that. So let's pick a nice section of it. Just for look development. Yeah, there we go. It can be quite slow. So let's zoom in and have a look. What's going on? So you'll notice that you get these grid mapping things and you can actually play with these for artistic reasons and just put anything in you want but for this we are going to go for um, for absorption density and um, scatter we're going to go for fuel and for emissions we're going to go for flames these do depend on whether your VDB volume comes with all these files because not all do and not all of ours do either and then you can go in and adjust the volume medium so luckily with Octane you can just poke fire and it already does something for you um, and then it's just about getting that nice more explosion feel this is a less dense explosion by the looks of it so you're getting something that already looks like that which is quite cool it's not right still though so in terms of actual volume I think we've probably got there but it's just the colour doesn't look like fire so I don't, I don't know why they, they, they do this in all fairness, but if you just go down to volume gradient and change this more to an orange, it'll instantly look way better. You can play with this slider too. You can even add white if it's really hot. Don't tend to do it that much, but you can. So if you used to play, you'd see a really hot bit there, but we don't do that. Here's another quick little tip for VDB volumes. You can reduce just these values and change the look and feel of the explosion so without having to re-simulate so you can just simply knock this down to about 70 to 150 somewhere and then you get this wispy looking smoke stuff but then you can change the density pulling this back here and there you have a different type of explosion with sharper edges and then again, if you're rendering elements, like rendering these separately and comping them anyway afterwards, you can play about with the camera settings, which obviously you couldn't do if you were doing in a 3D scene because it would affect everything. But if you're just rendering these separately for comp purposes, you can adjust these slightly. 
to hopefully find that quite useful and see you on the next one.